Hi folks, Shane here and welcome back to the How to Smoke Meats video tutorial series. Selecting the wood is an essential part of your seasoning profile. If you're smoking fish, it may be your only seasoning profile, since dry rubs in marinades can easily mask the subtle and mild flavor of some fish. We all know what it's like to taste something that has been over seasoned, like too much salt. The same is true if the meat has been over smoked and can leave an unpleasant, bitter aftertaste. Not to mention that expensive, beautiful piece of meat you started with is now unfit for consumption. Smoke is made up of many microscopic particles that stick to cold or moist meat, affecting one to two millimeters of the meat surface that imparts the smoke flavor. The smoke ring, often referred to as a sign of good barbecue, is actually a chemical reaction between the protein myoglobin, nitric oxide, and carbon monoxide gases created when wood or charcoal combusts and imparts no additional flavor. Start with about two to four ounces of wood chips per smoking session and keep accurate records in your smoker log. Increase the amount of wood chips one to two ounces at a time until the preferred level of smoke taste is achieved. Here is my recommended short list to get you started. For beef, hickory or mesquite. For chicken, apple. For pork, pecan. For fish, alder. And for traditional jerk seasoning, pimento. Some folks soak the wood chips to help delay the smoke. I personally do not. Well, there you have it folks. Whether you're using wood chips, chunks, or logs, be careful not to oversmoke the meat. See you in the next video.